Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long, long time, five months in total, since I last did my YouTube channel. Um, for those who don't know me, my name is Maureen and I have not been on since January 2019. Reason being is February the 14th, yes, Valentine's Day, I had my arm surgery and I was out of action for about best part of three months and I was letting my arm heal itself. Um, it's still, it's better, still slightly numb down one side from my elbow to my wrist um, but on the 21st of June, I actually start physiotherapy on my arm. Um, let me show you my arm. Basically, I had surgery. Can you see my scar there? That's my scar. Um, I had, for two and a half years, a big ball of calcium just sitting on my elbow. I think they call it golfer's elbow. But I had um, a steroid injection from my GP. I had, oh God, what else did I have? I had this new thing that they had out. It's called dry needle, dry needling or something. And it was this big needle. And I'm watching it on the ultra scan. Uh, they lay you down and they put this needle into the ball of calcium and they literally penetrate the calcium to see if they can break down the ball of calcium um, inside my arm, on my elbow. Well, this went on and it never worked. So I went back to see the consultant at hospital and basically they said it's going to have to be surgery. So within six weeks, I was in surgery. I had my arm in a sling for six weeks i couldn't drive i couldn't do anything um it was an absolute nightmare i couldn't cook either <laughs> so i had to get some um uh ready meals in and i don't really have ready meals but i had to scour on the internet for vegan ready meals um for those that don't know i'm vegan so yeah i've never really experienced vegan ready meals before Anyway, so this went on and after three months, my arm got better. I was able to use it, able to drive. But like I said, unfortunately, down one side from the elbow to the wrist, it's actually completely numb. And I think this is to do with the nerve endings. I can't actually feel um, the outside of my arm. Um, and actually where my scar is, it's still quite tender around there. So I went back to the GP and he said, yes, you need physio, which is quite surprising because I thought that they would give me physio before, actually. I wasn't very happy that they signed me off after four weeks. But anyway, so my arm's getting sorted out. Um, everything's good this end. I've got to get back into doing some filming for some car boot hauls and some charity shop hauls which i'm hoping to do very very soon so if you can just bear with me um charlie would you like to see the youtubers basically poor charlie even charlie was poorly wasn't you girl hey look there's charlie say hello say hello girl hey yes you was poorly yourself poor charlie she was very very sick they actually thought that, um, excuse my hair, it's raining today. Um, they actually thought she'd swallowed um, a little bit of bone and it gone, got stuck into her intestines. And if it wasn't bone, it was because she's got this really bad habit of chewing on plastic toys, which I've now thrown away. Um, they thought maybe she'd got a little bit of plastic toy stuck into her intestines and they had to open her up. And they had to investigate. Anyway, one thing and another. Five days after being in hospital um, at the vets, uh, they said she had gastroenteritis because she was really, really sick. And she also had pancreatitis. But it took her best part of 10 days 
to um, get over all this. So she's out of the vet. She's off her antibiotics. She's all back to normal. She's all good. So poor me and Charlie, we've been through the ringer this week. Um, the last few months even, not just this week, you know. Charlie's only just literally got better. So anyway, so please subscribe. I am going to be um, putting up more videos, hopefully very soon. Um, press the bell icon and then you'll get notifications when I load a video. So that will be really helpful as well. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.